You ready for this skin? I mean, I can't wait. This is my dog. You're gonna meet her. She's so sweet. And this is my little kitten. Al. All right, guys. We're going to have like so You can go into your next class. I'm brand. Except for April and Melody. What? Huh? Sorry, what were you saying? Exactly. Do you realize that you're flunking this nine weeks? You need to do a report on how life during the Civil War was different than ours today. What? I don't believe this. I mean, I don't even care about this stuff. Yeah, slavery was wrong, but it's over now. It's just a bunch of dusty history in a stupid book. Whoa! Dusty history? Come on. I'll show you why you should care. What are you? What are you wearing? Maybe you should change and get more civilized and we'll talk later, all right? Uh, okay. We'd better get you dressed before anyone else gets suspicious. Whoa! When did you get there and who are you? I'm Eliza Miller. I'm right here so that you can understand that freedom is something that everyone should learn about and that the story of abolition in our country was important. That people, that the people who were enslaved deserved freedom. My heart had to be changed all those years ago to care about others. Now, yours needs to be changed too. Sorry, sorry, I just don't see why it matters. Let's just go before anyone else sees those ghastly clothes. And just so you know, people think you or me right now. I don't want a bad reputation. Call for Mary. Ask for some spare clothes. What am I, your slave? Um, no. Please, just do it. Fine. Uh, Mary! May I have some clothes? Yes, Miss Eliza. Here you go. Thanks. Um, you may go. This is where the learning begins. That is Mary, and the time that you're seeing, she's an enslaved person in my family's house. What, you were a slave? Yes, unfortunately, that wasn't such an uncommon thing in Harper's Ferry at the time. That, that's just wrong. Perhaps, but many people had to learn that lesson. I had to learn it myself. And over this direction is the armory, a place where they made 10,000 weapons a year. Hold on, hold on, what's that? That's an encampment for runaways. Runaways? Yes, the runaway slaves, of course. They're a contraband war. Contraband, as in contraband property? Yes. But they're people. Yes, but sadly, many people didn't see things that way at the time. That's terrible. It was thought that enslaved people couldn't learn or fend for themselves. Freed men were not allowed to own property or vote in any election. That's terrible! Yes, but a lot changed between this time and your time. It took many decades for people to understand things the way you do. One day I finally realized that Mary is just like me. The sad thing about that is that she had been taken away from her parents and sold as a slave. She works so hard. She cooks, she cleans, she keeps our home running, and she is a person just like me. Mary asked me to help her learn to read. So I secretly taught Mary to read and write. In return, Mary taught me how to cook and sew. But most importantly, Mary taught me about the priceless gift of freedom. Freedom wasn't ours to give, it was ours to fight for. that on this day of January, all persons held as slaves should be then, thenceforward and forever free. What's that mean? 
It means you're free. Oh my gosh. And together, Mary and Eliza learned about freedom and equal rights for all people. In 1906, they would return to Harper's Ferry, now old ladies and old friends. They would witness the Niagara Movement Convention in early civil rights organization which strive to ensure equality for everyone. There we go.